it, it came very unexpectedly. Uh, my family, we emigrated in 1981 and we emigrated having gone to, I went to Soviet Union three times beforehand to gauge whether there was a chance of any political change because we were so dependent on the Soviet Union and I couldn't see a chance until the millennium. And then my most striking memory of is of watching TV one dinner with Margaret Thatcher welcoming at Checkers a new Soviet guy Mikhail Gorbachev and she at the time she said the famous phrase Mr. Gorbachev and I can do business together and I recall till this day that I watched it I think that it was 1985 six maybe and I and, and suddenly I could see the big change was coming and I, and I thought we were wrong because we didn't really want to emigrate but I, I saw no chance for my children for ourselves and there I think it was especially comparing to today's politics it was a wonderful wonderful combination of Thatcher, Reagan and Gorbachev which completely changed the world for the better now, <laughs> The opposite is taking place, but that's that's the. I never expected it. I, I was of course delighted it happened. Well, I know it was Friday uh, because we had a. I rather wouldn't. I don't think I'm, I'm allowed to tell his name, but we had a very influential politician, Czech politician, staying with us, and on Thursday night he was certain it would happen, and we helped him to fly back early morning on the. On the seventeenth, when 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 we when he wasn't planning it, and then it happened. So so it's very emotional. It's fantastic. It's fantastic that it happened. It's perhaps sad that the euphoria couldn't have lasted forever, and and and, and it's such a problematic world that uh, it's hard to find an oasis of something perfect which Czech people were hoping for, and um, perhaps should fight more for it. Perhaps they don't fight enough for for better times and for, for politicians to behave as they should. I was sorry I couldn't be there. We we, we had uh, we had a nonsense passport, you know, a passport which enabled us to travel anywhere except Czech Republic. So of course I wanted to be there but it was impossible. In fact we flew there on the 31st December still with a passport which was invalid and they gave us here at the embassy they gave us a special paper that we're allowed to enter Czech Republic so that was the first time I came on the New Year celebration which was very emotional I thought I wouldn't I wouldn't go back before the millennium I, 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 it's hard to you know it's hard to leave a country and give up on on uh, knowingly give up on, on thinking there would be a chance to see it again. So of course 1989 was wonderful in that respect. Still, still is in that respect. You said two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I first came to England in 1968 and this was paradise on earth and it was paradise on earth after 1981 when we came suddenly in the last three years since since the referendum this is a completely different country so uh, Czech Republic you know, of course it evokes in you, you you start deliberating but it's hard to go back we, we've got eight grandchildren and we've got three children here but I uh, I wish the very best to, to the Czech Republic and hope it will go, go in the right direction which the rest of the world doesn't seem to be doing so I, I hope the Czech Republic will.